Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 in a brand new trailer. We also got like a little teaser also. So we have like a bunch of new footage uh, that we're going to be talking about in this video. And we actually um, got like our first tease of the uh, end is the beginning people i know we had that one guy who was talking to alicia in the main trailer who was saying something like you know i've been looking for someone like you for a long time or something like that uh but this brand new trailer we get to see um more about uh the kind of people they are i think and uh possibly what they may be doing um, and also, you know, their location. So, uh, pretty cool. I'm excited to talk about it. Before I do get into it, though, obviously, general spoiler warning. In case you are not caught up with Fear the Walking Dead. And then also, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Because we have a lot of Walking Dead content coming up. Right now, it's the extra six episodes of the main show is airing. So, we're doing, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, for the reviews and breakdowns. Um, as well as uh, trailers for Fear the Walking Dead leading up to the premiere, which is going to be right after uh, those extra six episodes. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, so be sure to subscribe if you're a fan of the shows. But other than that, let's get into the video. All right, so we're starting off with Strand here. Um, he is talking to Alicia and he's saying, whatever's coming, uh, we can face it together. Um, and Alicia's response actually is, uh, she's saying like, why should I believe you? We get, we don't see it in this trailer, but we saw it in the teaser that I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but it looks like Strand is obviously playing both sides. I don't think he's a traitor or anything like that. I'm loving what they're doing with his character this season. Um, you know, it just, they're doing a great job with it. And, you know, it's so fun watching his character this season. But yeah, it looks like he's playing both sides, talking to Alicia about what to do. Alicia obviously is, you know, uh, hesitant to believe him because of what happened last episode where he pulled a gun on her and everything like that. You can't really blame her, but I do think Strand will pull through and, you know, um, help out the group. Next, we have Dwight and Sherry. Uh, Dwight is giving her a kiss. Uh, he, they might be, you know, or she might be leaving to go do something or, uh, you know, like they may be doing their own separate things for a little bit or just, give, you know, giving her a hug. Um, and then we have this guy with the mask and we can see a bunch of his people coming out of Alicia or excuse me, uh, Althea's SWAT truck. And you can actually hear them saying, go, go, go. We'll find him. I think he says we'll find them or he uh, will find him or we'll find them or something like that. It's in the background, so you can't really hear it. It's not him saying it. And you can look in the background. They're all, they all have their guns up. So it looks like they're, they're looking for somebody. And I think this group may be, you know, trying to ambush Virginia's group. And maybe they ran into some of them and they're trying to get them and they ran away. And that's why the guy's like, you know, go, go, go. We'll get them. Then we have this scene, uh, which is a pretty, you know, dark scene. We have two people pointing a gun to grace um and you know this is at the lineup you know it looks like she's crying she's holding her baby and you know virginia puts her hand up i don't want to say what i'm thinking like i don't think she's gonna die i mean that would be insane if they kill her um i don't think they will i don't think they're gonna do that to morgan um maybe it's i think something will happen last second to help them uh, but yeah, pretty intense. Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty intense moment here. Then we have a shot of John. I think he's talking to Morgan here and he's saying, I don't care to kill anybody. So remember he left. So I think in maybe like the f or, uh, first couple episodes, I think Morgan is going to try to get John to come back. And I think he will remember, uh, John sort of just doesn't want to deal with them right now. It looks like he's in some sort of cabin, maybe living by himself. And Morgan, I think, is going to come and uh, talk to him about fighting back. And Morgan has the experience for this. Remember, you know, Morgan and Dwight, they, they fought against Negan. They were there against Negan. Um, and Virginia's group is a little similar with to Negan, you know, in terms of making the group just work for them. Uh, so I think they know that this is not something to be dealt with or this is something to be dealt with, you know, and not something to mess around with and just wait for a long time. They just have to fight back now. And I think Morgan is coming here to tell him. Uh, that we need that that the group needs him next we have a scene of charlie she is looking through the binoculars and she says they're here so i'm assuming this is referring to the rangers um so it looks like they're holding up at the base and they're preparing for the rangers to show up because i think they're gonna have a battle morgan walks out here looking like he's ready to fight we have althea up here and they have like a, a guard on top so this is like just their you know location that they're holding up um i think while they wait for the battle to start 
Morgan gets frustrated here. He's saying like, uh, what the hell are we doing here? You can't really tell the context of what it is um, because it's just like close-ups of his face. I think he may like want to... I think he might be ready for a fight and it keeps getting, you know, held off or something or, you know, Strand is trying to make a deal with them and he's like, what the hell are we doing here? Um, you know, something like that. It's, again, it's hard to tell because it just took... They're just close-ups of his face. But uh, next we have June running in the water. Remember, this is somebody who like fell and I think they may be drowning and she's running to save them. And then we have this scene that is really interesting. Uh, we have uh, Daniel here. It looks like he may be tied up just on the way his arms look. Like it looks like he may be handcuffed. And he's closing his eyes and I think he's preparing for some explosion because behind him, uh, wherever he is, it might be like he's in some sort of tent or something. Uh, the curtains sort of like, you know, go up and we can see like an explosion behind him. Um, so this may be the Rangers because remember, uh, he's going to get captured by the Rangers and, and the based on the way his hand his the position for his hands are, it looks like he's handcuffed. Like you can see here, his hands are still like together, even though, um, he's preparing for this explosion. Uh, and then this is where we get the end of the beginning people. So we have this like painting, which is sort of insane. At first I was thinking like, is this art? Like, is this promo art for the show? Which... I, I don't think it is. I think this is actually, you know, somebody painted this, somebody on the end of the beginning. They painted this, and we have this elevator door open. Um, and we have the group here. We have Wes, we have Althea, we have Luciana, we have Alicia, and then we have these two people behind them. And I believe those two people are new characters, most likely working for the end of the beginning people. Um, and the guy at the end says, this is where life will be getting in. So he either says, this is where life will be getting in, or this is where life will be beginning. <laughs> they, they sound very similar here. Let me, let me play the clip. This is where life will be getting in. What did that sound like to you guys? To me, it sounded more like this is where life will be getting in. Unless I, I mean, I, I even put on the subtitles and the subtitles couldn't catch it. So, uh, but anyways, that's not really the point of what he's saying. But the point that I want to talk about is that this group is really dang interesting. We know they've been spray painting um, the end is the beginning all over, you know, this location. So I thought the painting was really interesting. Um, but they have working elevators for some reason. They have working elevators. I mean, I don't even know the last time we saw a working elevator. So they probably have like some, you know, they probably have electricity and power and all that kind of stuff. And this is once again, another group that is like far ahead of everybody else on The Walking Dead. Like we have the Commonwealth, the CRM, and then we have these guys. But they have done a great job with the mystery of this group. Like we don't really know what it is, but we know like the end of the beginning, it's sort of like, um, like the symbolism with this group is about like trees and new life forms and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like there's a theme of like starting over again, maybe, you know, because of the trees. Um, and I don't know, let me know what you guys think about that because when I'm looking at the imagery and all the stuff that we have so far with this group, that's what I'm sort of thinking. Like maybe this is some group that once again is trying to fix the world or trying to turn the world around, you know, working on a cure. Um, well, cure is maybe a stretch because I don't know if they would introduce another group working on the cure. Um, you know, that's already the world beyond. But the point I'm trying to make is like this seems like another group uh, that is really trying to change the world rather than just survive like everyone else is. But you guys let me know what you think about that. And then quickly, I want to talk a little bit about the teaser. Uh, they dropped like a 30 second teaser which had some brand new footage that I want to talk about. Um, so here we have Strand. Uh, he shows up to the location and Althea's like, what do you want, Victor? And Strand is like, justice. So the group seems to be a little bit suspicious of Strand. Maybe he's doing too much with Virginia. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Eugene because there was moments where people were like, is Eugene really a good guy still? Or is he like, is he Negan? <laughs> uh, but he ended up being a good guy. You know, he helped up our group. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of that. So again, you can see Strand here. He's by himself. So maybe he comes here to talk to them. Um, and then he goes back and tells uh, Virginia where they are. Um, and that's how they find out about this location. Then we have this, which we already saw. Um, this is like the lineup. You can see Daniel here and the group gets lined up. You got Sarah, Grace, Luciana, and Daniel. Um, and then we have Strand here. So Strand is there watching it happen. And I'm interested in seeing maybe he's the one who's going to come through and save everybody. 
Um, and then this is that scene where Althea, or excuse me, where Alicia is. I keep mixing those names up, Althea and Alicia, just because the names are so similar, Althea and Alicia. Um, but she's saying, oh, why should I believe you now? Um, and Strand is like, you don't have to. So, you know, this is probably a continuation of that scene from earlier with Althea, where he's where he came to the uh, community to talk to them. And then this is an interesting scene where he, he has a gun up and this looks to be that location where we have the lineup. And he said, you told me to get ready for the big show. And he's sort of like backing off while he has his gun up. So that kind of makes me think that maybe last second he's going to pull his gun up and point it at, you know, um, Virginia and say, you told me to get ready for a big show. And because he's backing up, it makes me think that, um, you know, he's sort of defending himself and you know wants to save his friends you guys let me know what you think about that i don't know if you can hear that wind outside but it is windy over here so sorry if that was annoying throughout the video i don't think you guys can hear it because the wind is like out it's not that loud i'm just right next to a window but anyways uh that was the trailer we got so hopefully you guys did enjoy that video let me know your thoughts and opinions about it and especially let me know what you think is going on with the end is the beginning people because they are a really interesting group very mysterious we don't really know anything about them um which makes me kind of excited to learn more but yeah that was a trailer so i am gonna wrap it up there for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating again let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below uh and for more walking Dead videos just be sure to subscribe and as always thanks for watching please take care and i'll see you guys soon